been to Ghana, Nigeria, and now we're in England. Making of a Mogul Ladies Edition featuring Vanessa Armadi, publicist to the stars. If you believe it, you can achieve it. I knew Vanessa from a quite young age. I used to give her advice on how it could be in PR. She eventually ended up working with us, and we did. Uh, she helped set up the urban side of what we do. Worked very hard with Usher. Got Usher first cover of Glamour, which was a big deal. But I spotted in her an enthusiasm, and an energy, a commitment. She's a natural communicator. She's a heck of an entrepreneur. She's a real little business lady. You know, she's she's adaptable. This is the reason. When you cast your mind back to when she was at Hammersmith and um, basically got her internship into the BBC, did you feel that that was actually going to be the beginning of a very good, challenging, yes, but very good, fruitful um, career for Vanessa? Oh, yes. Yes, very much. I saw the drive, the determination in her to make it, and um, I saw hard work. Um, she was really putting all in all in whatever she was doing and um, it, it didn't matter what time she got back she was always early off to do whatever i would not say it's me that made her what she is today it is god um, we're a very strong christian family and also the discipline because i'm naturally a disciplinarian <laughs> yes. so i had to instill discipline in my mm -hmm. children what were the signs, if there were any, what were the signs that convinced you that this young girl is going to be quite successful in the future? I wasn't looking out for any signs whether she was going to be great or not. I was looking out for signs that, that she's not going to be loose on the streets. Mm -hmm. I don't want her to be loose on the streets. Mm -hmm. I don't want her to do drugs. I don't right. want her to go out for a way. Mm -hmm. Do you call her by the English name or the Nigerian name? I call her by the Nigerian name, I call her English name, but when I get so really, really mad, I call her the full Nigerian What is a full Nigerian Uso Amaka. <laughs> <laughs> and then she'll answer. But, um, so, yeah. you know, um, she, she's a very special girl. Yeah, yeah. And um, I love all my children, and I, I love her very much. Mm. Uh, she's the one amongst my children that has a little bit of more characteristics of myself. Oh, yeah. How would you describe Vanessa as a sister? She's the best. She's the best? Yeah, she's the best. She's really? the best. Very, very inspirational. Mm -hmm. She's never in her house. Yeah, I just came back from Nigeria two weeks ago. Wow. Um, inspired by her trips. Mm -hmm. There's nothing new under the London sun, mm -hmm. but there's so many things that's new under the African sun. I, I encourage young people, mm -hmm. young African people, you know, within the UK and anywhere around the world to just go back to Africa. And, you know, Vanessa has definitely, definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, mm -hmm. inspired that. Whitney, describe your relationship with Vanessa. Um, Vanessa has probably been more like a mentor to me. Um, I started working with her when I was 19. Wow. Vanessa really allowed me to get right into her business. Um, I was able to deal with her clients. She gave me a lot of responsibility quite early on. What are the kinds of things Vanessa does that nobody else sees, that you know about? Oh, a lot of organisation. Really? A lot of prep. I think that people think that working in events or PR is glamorous. Um, it looks glamorous on the outside, you may get to socialise or work with celebrities, but there's so much work that goes into it. So much planning, you know, if you're working on an event, you've got to think about working on the event months before it even happens. So, you know, you've got to do your press, you've got to make sure that the security is tight, you have to... There's just so much that goes into an event that people really don't know about. But um, Vanessa definitely works a lot behind the scenes. Yes. Um, and you don't see it because obviously you're not there. But that's the reason why the event goes so seamless, because of the amount of preparation that's gone into it. If there was one word you would use to describe Vanessa and all she's done thus far? Oh, well, she's, she's inspirational. She is. Describe what you went through with being discovered that you had cancer to all the treatments and me sitting here with you right now. Yeah. What's that experience like for you? I was diagnosed at 26. I literally just found the lump in my neck. My, my GP told me, oh, it's a bit of fat. If you want to take it out, you can take it out or you can leave it. 
So me being a lady, so I don't, I don't want a lump in my neck. I want to get rid of it. So um, yeah, I went to go, and the doctor was going to take it out, and he said, "Have you had it checked?" No, I haven't. It took me to have some scans, and then sort of fast forward, and the results came back as it was Hodgkin's lymphoma, which I had no idea what that was. But then I found out it's cancer of your lymph nodes. The first thing that I said was, well, "Praise God." And the lady, the doctor looks at me and says, no, no, you've got cancer and you're going to have to have some chemotherapy. She's explaining it to me. And I said, I, I understand what you're saying. And I'm thanking God. And I think the re that, that was in my spirit, not in my conscience, but in my spirit, because I felt like through all things you have to thank God. And I felt that whatever is going to happen, whether it's going to be good, whether it's not going to be so good, I know that God will be with me and it's going to be to his glory. I felt that if something's going to come out of this it has to it has to come out for me and that was the year that my company was born so you it's a quite an interesting story because yeah. on one side there was all this cancer chemotherapy and stuff happening yeah on the other somewhere inside of you your inner mogul was brewing absolutely absolutely because I felt well you know even if okay say the cancer physically gets to me I know it won't get me to me spiritually but it physically gets to me and then I'm no longer here anymore but you didn't, what do I do? But you knew you would be around. I mean, I knew to I would. Build what I knew, you're building today. I knew I would be here. And I knew I had to be here. But I felt that I had to to do what I was doing. But for me, being an African woman, um, I decided to open up my business in Africa. The APR in 2010 we opened up in Lagos. I wanted to bring my skills back to my people. I go back home to Lake uh, to Nigeria and think oh my god these people are amazing the music is incredible but you don't hear it back in the UK or it's not appreciated where I'm from well where I live in the UK they only talk about Africa and Nigeria in the context of poverty 419 or Boko Haram that's all we see on TV but actually that there's actors and actors doing amazing things and musicians doing amazing things so I wanted to try and bring my skills where possible to try and promote some of this in this territory so people can see the Genevieve and Najis of this world or the Zabanjis or the NATO Seas or Dares of this world that are able to to cross over and bring what they have at home over here. Days all roll into each other like even though yeah it's a Sunday it's still a work day tomorrow and and it, that's going to go on right through to the end of the week which hopefully you'll experience. When I'm working yeah. I'm like <laughs> See all over the way. place <laughs> and yeah it's, it's all a bit because obviously it's intense and um, you know you're there for the client, you're there for a reason, and to and, and you have to achieve quite a lot in a short space of time. The Bounders album came out yesterday. Not his album, his single. Oh, single, single. Oliver, 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 Oliver yeah, Twist. Yeah, yeah. yeah, came out yesterday in the national charts. Mm. How's it doing? Really, really well, wow. actually. Yeah, the UK is a very, very difficult market to break, and once you break UK, it's easier to break the rest of Europe. So it's um, yeah, exciting time for us actually. And he's here in a couple of days. Um, yeah, he's going to be here soon to do lots of promo. Yeah. Just looking at the chart here, he's um, number he one. Now? Oh, well, number one on the urban chart. This is a uh, music week, which is like a industry, okay. the Tate Industry Bible, but it's where um, we pick up all our industry news on okay. music. Mm -hmm. And he's currently number one in the urban chart. This is all pre-release. Really? Yeah, pre-release. And he's number one there in the commercial pop chart. Mm -hmm. He's number 19 with the new entry, which is fantastic. It's, it's really, really all, good when you're up against, you know, J-Lo, Jessie J and yeah. people like yeah, that. Tell me, where does your relationship with um, Vanessa start? Oh, goodness. Um, I've known Vanessa since I was 16, a lot of years. Um, yeah, we, we, we met in college and we just kind of bonded over a love of music, PR, you know, that kind of stuff. It was just weirdly random that me and this girl kind of clicked. Mm -hmm. She was just cool and I was just cool. I was like, oh, I like her, she's cool. <laughs> you know, and we ended up taking our first trip to New York together. Um, and we've been back every year since. She's an actual friend, yeah. you know, in the industry, which is hard to come across. You know, yeah. You don't find people like Vanessa in your lifetime. You don't. I can never imagine my life not having Vanessa in it. I don't, I don't know what that looks like. Last year we went to Nigeria to do um, a Rise, mm. the fashion show. Mm -hmm. I went with people that didn't quite know it, you know, and they were so nervous and having this moment. And I was like, I'm about yeah. to go here and have some fun. Yeah, like, y'all can sit there and be, do all of that. That's cool. I know what my people are like and I know what we're like, and we're here to have some fun. It's 
place looks totally different to how they have shown us, you know. I've seen the real Africa 